Hello. Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an illumined Blu-ray golden twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. How is everybody doing? Whew, this has been an intense retrograde and it actually started about a week before and in all honesty, it started last October. It start it was intense from all through May and then you know we just like this is where the rubber's meeting the road okay there's several things to know about this and I want to cover some major key points about this because there is a lot of mental confusion in the air there's a lot of um, opinions being thrown around however it's important to stick to what your heart is telling you and I think what I'm going to have to um, talk to you about a lot of this is going to make sense and a couple do things do need to be said first and foremost um, you know that I say it you're not crazy this is a very masterful plan and yet when you look at it from a human perspective if you're standing here on earth and you're kind of like what gives with that? What's going on with that? Why did that thing it seemed like I wanted, why did the universe seem to slam the door? And not everything is going to make sense from an earthly perspective. You're not in the earth parts anymore. You're just not. You're in the cosmic level parts here. And this is a good thing because there's just parts of this that just can't be done in a human way. A lot of you have been going and going and going and a lot of you have been running on fumes and your tank needs to be refilled. You need some buffing and polishing. You need some caresses. You need a lot of kissing. And some of you, there's big disparity in your unions. And one thing I want to remind you of, the word union, you're one unit. Your one soul poured into two bodies with two personality aspects coming from two streams of experience. You're one unit. One. One, 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 one. And it's important to really accept this. Acceptance. Okay. It is you are. Okay. For those of you who have um, either re-encountered your twin, because there's several dynamics at work here. There's people who've met their twin early on in their life who are re-encountering their twin in some way. And it's time for part two for you of your magnificent love story coming back into your life and really finishing so that you can be new. For some other people, they're awakening and they are in a crash course and yet in many cases their energies and bodies are very uh, much more prepared so there are several dynamics and a lot of us took on bit off a lot more than we could chew from a human way and it is duly noted in the angelic realms this is this is not these are not things that are all getting resolved from a human level so you don't need uh, me to tell you there's been a retrograde. You don't need me to tell you things are intense and it's just on pedal to the metal for a lot of people. Your own body, your ascension symptoms are telling you what the weather is outside. You don't need me for that. I've, I've done that and done that. A lot of astrologers um, who I respect very much, there's quite a few that they know, they have the connections, they will know cosmically what's going on. I know things from a twin flame perspective, particularly the Blu-ray. And yes, Blu-rays are origin twins. That doesn't make us better or worse. In fact, in a lot of ways, people have been saying, hey, Blu-rays, when is it on? When are you going to start firing up this grid that we keep talking about? Right in this time frame. For the summer solstice, new beginnings for the summer solstice. And as of last October, this is when it became possible for you to jump, fling yourself into quantum time, jump timelines, accelerate with things, okay? In linear time, it has taken people much more time to affect a job change or a divorce or, or even to conclude karma. Some people have said, I have 
cut and cut and cut and nothing happened. Well, it's happening now. And I want to um, talk to you about several key things here. A lot of this is happening through body changes, especially on the organs along the solar plexus. It is going to be five major organs connecting, merging, and elevating with your twin. So what are those organs? They are the heart, the spleen, the lungs, the liver, the kidneys, and the central nervous system. Now, I want to show you what is, you know, what is actually going on. Well, after April, because we had the turning of the wheel, we got everything lined up and ready to bring it in from the four corners. Along with that bringing in, you needed to clear and clean it off, okay? But what is actually happening is you two are pulling each other up, okay? You're pulling each other up. You're also reaching down from the fifth through the ninth dimensional levels. This is an elevation. So we've been going along until we got to that point, and it, visually the way I saw it was almost like a sack, like, like the kind that a pirate would put treasures in. All that gold, it's in the sack, and you're going to yank it up and pull it up. And where is it being pulled up? How do you do this? That's what you're sitting tight for because in order to do this, it happens through your connections. Those connections are anchored right into your body. Okay? Now, along with that, anything that's old hit and built up is being removed. Anything. Anything. We're talking even things that made you happy. It could be things like, oh, I just love this bakery. It makes me happy. It's my go-to place when I feel sad. Um, or I call this person for comfort every single time, and then that person isn't available. Or it will be things that have been sort of gratifying. Um, it could be some, you know, a friend with benefits. You've talked to them, and it's just not working out. It's not intended to work out. None of those old connections or old situations are intended to work out. All of your connections along the solar plexus, and you have family, friends, spouses, you've got job and career. You're, dra you're dragging all this with you. This is becoming a shocking drain on you, especially if you're not getting recharged. If, if your twin has pulled away, how do you get your batteries recharged? And this is, um, for some people, it's going to be geographical locations. Some of you, it'll be all this job and career, family, friends, everybody's hanging on the two of you, and you're one unit, and your twin just can't take it. Organizations, charities, causes, and you're like, oh, get these people, places, things off of us. My God. And some of you, some of you are becoming very angry. You're despairing. For some of you, if your twin is doing the breakups and not going and the universe has closed the door, you know, maybe maybe your twin has really been into the military. Um, and I do hear this from people. I'll hear things like, oh, yes. Do you know who you are? Oh, yes, I know who I am. I know who I am. I was in the Egyptian army. I was a Cathar. I can walk into a situation and simply scan it. I'll know if there's trouble. And they're putting on their capes and their weapons are drawn and they will now be a spiritual warrior for God once again. Except, no, it's not. Or it may be things like, oh, I keep going to this thing and that thing and the goddess energy is just so... And guess what happens? Your soul expands and you just can't get the same thrill off of it. You're not going to get the same thrill off of things because those are small earthly things. Those are the things that were brought here. 
So anything old, and this is going to be old emotions, guilt, remorse, shame. Um, it will be things that have been told to people, things planted in people's heads. And a lot of you have not only had this in your head, guess what? It's been connected to your sacred sexual. Yeah, and that's orange on purpose. And guess where the sacred sexual is connected to? It's connected to the, not only the private parts, but the lower chakras. Your lower chakras are no longer for everyone's use or abuse. Okay, so I want to give you an example of what could something be that's old. Well, let's say you have a couple that is intended to be together, and one's in a marriage, but in their childhood, your twin who's been in the in the marriage and staying there because it's comfy, it's stable or perceived to be certain things, and yet it's the same old thing. And yet they've had childhood sexual abuse. How do you rationalize that? How do you mentalize it? How do you analyze it? Or do you just get it gone? Do you get it out? And that's the time period you're in here. You're in a time period where anything that's old and built up, the frustrations, the anger, rage, um, actually we're done with a lot of the rageful situations. And for a lot of you, you've been holding tight and you've really been staying steady with this. And you're worn out. You're tired. And I, I do hear you. I hear all about it. Your counterparts are having the same. I encourage you, stand still and don't do anything hasty. And I'll tell you why. I've, I've got several things written down here. So the, um, there are actually five major career paths here on the planet that it will be the time for those people to start waking up. And a lot of you have been waiting for this time period. You somehow have, um, your twin flame is in the public eye somehow. And this is science and technology, medical and healing. So those of you who, um, you know your twin flame's a doctor or a nurse or somebody like that, or someone who has uh, group workshops and they talk about some kind of healing modality. Um, it could be science. It could be someone who is considered very, very cerebral, very intelligent. Most of those people uh, for science and technology, they have strong connections to Sirius and Andromeda. But it's their turn. It is their turn. They've done their part. It's their turn now. Same with the medical and the healing. Because using the love of your union to get where they've gotten to, it's, it's sufficient now. Music and the arts, and this is going to be musicians, um, singers, it will be people, especially in the public eye, bands, it will be people that have um, some form of art that they express through the love of their union. They could be a lyricist, they could be a uh, fine arts painter, they could be a performance artist, they could be a photographer. And I do talk to people in many walks of life. So it's a misconception that everyone will drop what they're doing and, you know, turn around and lay hands on people and be a healer. Oh, I want to help humanity. Well, you better get, you know, go get, you know, this certificate, that certificate. No, no. It's time now for um, things to be noted that there may be a pause or even leaving these careers. But in many cases, it's being elevated, and that's what this effect is, okay? They can no longer take the electric energy of the union. It's gone as far as it can go. It's time for merging. And so what's happening is the chakras are getting lined up, and you're going to have to put the bodies together because that uh, five-body meld that I talked about several videos ago it's occurring now, okay? Anything that needs to get lined up is getting healed and corrected, rectified to the extent that you'll be able to right now. A lot of times in isolation. So some of the other really sticky ones have 
really, this is really getting on a lot of people's nerves. It makes them want to go off the grid. I don't need the government. I don't need this. I hate that law that they passed. Why do I have to pay a bill? Uh, uh, uh. Let's make a protest. Let's do this or that. I'm going off the grid. I'm going to go. I'd rather go live on a beach than participate in this. Politics. Politics. In every country, this also, believe it or not, this is a consciousness from uh, Antares, Andromeda, and Sirius. And this is getting not only uh, corrected, right size, people are going to begin waking up. And yes, green lighting or funding the things that actually need to uh, take place. Uh, right here in my own hometown, we've had such bad storms, we've had flooding. I've already you know, been through a couple of floods. They're finally starting to address the sewer problem that's here. Our mayor dropped dead of a heart attack and all of a sudden everyone had a, you know, scurry, get someone in place, continue with the projects. He's not a dictator and the man died. What's going to happen with these crises? It's not intended to be a crisis. It's intended for people getting the mode of maintenance and religion. Okay, this is going to be all kinds of religion, not just one religion. And these are the five areas that are really coming into prominence now because many people have a twin flame in one of these areas, um, not exclusively, but many of you do, and it's going it's your time. It's your time. So again, I encourage you, stand still, don't be hasty. You haven't gotten to this point to go out and date other people or you may not know what to do. Don't do anything. Hey, don't do anything hasty. Um, some of the things that you may not know what to do with it. You have a couple of other things I want to talk about. Um, these organs that I, I just mentioned. Okay, so... You're not crazy and you're not stupid. We didn't get this far as we have by being stupid about things. We are highly intelligent, connected to source, connected to higher intelligence, and it's because of who we are. So one of these kidneys, okay, I'm just going to give an example here. Maybe you do a kidney cleanse. Maybe you do something that's an action that really is not uh, something like picking up the phone. The time for, and I've said this before, the time for the etheric connections with your twin is done. It's done. Don't rely upon it. You have to rely upon your heart, your high heart connections. It will keep expanding and clearing for you. You will still keep getting clarity and clarity and clarity. Retrogrades are hard. Portals are hard. Equinoxes and solstices are hard. Okay? Some of what I'm going to cover in my next webinar is how do you jump these timelines to ease through it and not feel like you're tumbling around in a washing machine. This is, this is um, not easy, but it's not impossible, and it requires practice because you are gearing up here for really the time of your life, for your brand new adventures with each other. And, and so let's, um, I found this. This is Chicago Tribune Sunday paper, yesterday's newspaper, and, and yeah, <laughs> Okay, talking about sports, the two juxtaposing things. Tell me the universe doesn't have a sense of irony. Lightning strike, our, our hockey team got beat by uh, Tampa Bay in that game. Okay, it's the finals. Okay, but this, whoops, bear with me here. Okay. Research links lead exposure to crime. Okay, now talking about the organs, what this article is about is they actually did MRI scans on people who were from impoverished areas of Cincinnati. And they could see with their science and technology actual parts of the brain that from the time of a toddler never developed correctly. Okay, 
Some people need an article like that in order to change their perspective and their thinking and say, huh, maybe there's more to, could being in a toxic environment lead to poor judgment and bad decisions? Okay, your organs are getting cleared out. Sit tight. Do what you can. Sometimes you may only be able to sit tight. If you feel low energy, you feel downtime, take it. There's times when moving it, moving dissipates it. If you don't know about living multidimensionally like this, get one of my webinars. They're very reasonably priced. They should be accessible to people. Now, in part of not doing anything hasty, okay, you did not come here to be dropped on your butt, but there's a thing to know as far as being a unit, okay? It's knowing when to call things crap that are crap, and it's knowing when um, your truth is, okay? So what may be sensible for you, Maybe I didn't need to take this. That's not sensible for my union. I, I, I need something else. Okay, you do what's sensible for you. If you don't know what, there are plenty of people to consult for that. I am one of them. There's several other people that do get the guidance. If things in your situation, and everyone has different situations. Some people live with their family or their parents. They're living with several people. And you're dealing with all of their mental energies. And, and you, I know this from readings I've done for people. Some people have gone out to their car in the woods just to have some privacy. And if you're having trouble getting clarity, there are people to consult with. There are medical intuitives. I get information for people, nutritional things, okay? But your own heart and your body, getting in tune with um, who you are, accepting who you are. Accept that you are this grand, magnificent being who is embodying divinity here, and what you're doing is magnificent because the human body, the human body was built for survival. The human body is not built for an ascension. It wasn't. But I will tell you that your body was built for ascension in the sense that it will have the karmic and genetic patterns that you need in order to uh, get a move on here, okay? And things are moving. There's um, another thing I want to talk about to you, and that is for people that have already met. This is coming up quite a bit and getting very confusing for people. Those of you who have met in the physical, okay, those of you who have met in the physical, you need only trust and allow your love to come home. So it doesn't matter what their body's doing, what their mouth has said, okay? I want to explain something about, you know, some things that have to do with our, our damaged psyche, okay? Here... You know, we've come up with psychiatry, which dispenses medications to help with uh, situations, and it's been necessary. Some people need that medication to function. But some psychology can't really explain the deep wounds that go way back to a cosmic place that has actually left you reeling, left you without each other, left people without the sufficient love to sustain them has left them in toxic situations. And you can't, this, this just won't work because it's like telling people, you know, we live in a war situation and, and we have wars here. There's still wars going on. You could look at different parts of the world and somehow, like, it's okay. Except the people that come back, they're sick. They've been affected. And you know, people looking at them, and yeah, we've come a long way, but everything isn't fixed. You're not going to fix it from your mind. You're not going to fix it from the brain, okay? Getting things connected to the heart is how this is getting elevated. Getting things connected to the heart, your b actual body's organs, that's where it's at. All right, now...
Oops. Too many things. Got a lot to talk about here. But the central nervous system of your soul is rewiring. Why? You're going someplace. You are going to the fifth dimension. Some of you have had some out-of-body experiences. In some ways, I'm saying things that have been in previous things. But the solstice, this is going to be new. And this is your do-over if you have not had an opportunity to address some things. So I will give you an example, my own personal example. Okay, My right eye, I've had trouble with it since November of last year. And I've had so many things taken out of it that I've had burnt into my retinas, nightmares, visions, past life stuff, um, sexy things, all kinds of stuff out of here. I've had it affected with um, pink eye, with like a real watery condition. Everything's getting out. Now, for years I've had this thing that I call my squiggle. And my squiggle looks inside like this. Okay? When I would blink, it would stretch out. It would be a little less squiggly. But it was still there. And I would, I would ask my eye doctor once a year when I would go for my eye checkup, you know, like he would say, you see anything? You see any spots? No, no floaters. I said, I got this squiggle. Well, I was told several times that it was something in the pupil. Now there is some new equipment available. I basically had an MRI done on the eye. And what I've got is what's called a lattice tear. Parts of my retina are on the edges. They're very stringy. They're very stringy. So guess what I had last week? I had laser eye surgery that I didn't expect. The doctor looked at it, looked at it, looked at it, and then he said, this was a completely different doctor, and I had to go through the whole Obama health care plan of, you know, go get a referral, do this. It took a month to get all of the paperwork lined up and approved. But I got it. And when I went in, when he looked, he said, I could take care of this in, in five minutes. I said, so I should reschedule because then I was doing the thing I always did. I was like, oh, God, I don't want anything invasive. Uh, someone's going to penetrate my tissues and no, I don't want it. And I had overcome this because I, I felt that balm of energy just come over me and say, it's all right. I'm here. And I just knew it's fine. But actually doing the procedure, that felt like a bullet got shot through the back of my skull. And it really was done in five minutes, and I was saved from going blind in the eye five years from now, or whenever it was. I don't know that we could attribute it to anything. Could we attribute it to any of those past things? It is attributed to nutrition. The bottom line is it was getting fixed right then and there. I encourage you, do not do anything hasty. Allow some of the stuff to get fixed right here and now. It's important. If you don't feel it's important, that's fine. It's inevitable. It is inevitable. You only delay your own timeline. I personally, this is not a popularity contest. And this is something that um, I really do want to get going with this. But... You know, we don't like to see everyone in pain. We do want personal empowerment so that people are not in situations that are painful. So that, what is the goal here? It's for people to be able to heal things with their love and to be able to focus on love and focus on each other and getting on with their lives, okay? There's not going to be an endless parade of healing and healing and healing and healing. We're it's getting everyone to the point where they can affect their own healing, ideally, simply by kissing and phoning it in from bed. Wouldn't that be lovely? Wouldn't it be lovely if when you ventured out of the house, it wasn't to go to some drudgery? It will simply be to go out and enjoy something. And, and that is the plan. That's always been the plan to become new. And I'm going to leave you with one more optimistic thing I got yesterday as I was walking. I found this. 
some of you know I get my messages from, you know, out there in the universe, it's this, it's that. Found objects, and the very first thing, the tens, are transcendence. Transcend some of the things that is going on with you. Transcendence. The diamond pattern corresponds to pentacles. This has to do with usually family and finances. And a couple of things to know, and yes, I would I would not be very wise if I did not promote some of the materials that I've already created to help people. Okay, you don't have to get help from me, but as far as I can tell, this has been helpful for people. And I've, I've tested it. I've done the things myself that I do suggest in the webinars. They're intended to prime people so that people are able to perceive with their own bodies that there's a new elevated way of doing things and from right here, okay? This is not pie in the sky, but this is to get you to that place in the sky, okay? You and your twin flame, you're in the position of pulling in all of these energies from your cosmic places right here, right now. So, you know, if this is... This is your twin flame, okay, and this is you. All of these streams of energy are coming in and elevating. What do you do with that? How do you keep it from being pulled in the private sexual area and connected to the old lower chakras? I talk about that in my webinars. I have actual... Um, like a, a video of a primer position for you to be able to elevate your energies, okay, and bring it here. There is more to this than meets the eye. So, you know, you're doing a combination of things and expecting. This doesn't involve fighting with your twin, picking a fight, allowing a fight to be picked to you. Do not give in to peer pressure or paranoia. Do not give in to peer pressure or paranoia because when you pull this off, you're going to feel parts of it. I've said that before. You're going to feel um, sensations, emotions. You're going to feel a lot of the emotional garbage that is leaving those connections. Don't give in to it. Don't give in to the people that say, oh, you really should let me fix you up. You're such a nice person. Why are you squandering? This is not happening so that you can squander meeting your twin flame. And there's one more thing that bears repeating. Those of you who have met your twin in the physical need only trust and allow your love to come home. And so do all the rest of you. So if you've met, please trust, please allow. You are, you're here to be new, okay? We need some fresh infusion here, that's for sure. I'm a little bit tired of seeing Transformers 4. I mean, okay, that's just a little personal joke. But this is, uh, this is leading us into the energies of the solstice. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just say one more thing. If you have children, pay attention to the guidance you get for your child. Your own child's guides are probably talking to you and telling you how to help them through this period. If you don't know, get my last webinar. If you want to know about your new life, check out my October webinar. It will be um, at the link below and on my website. That's a good place to start, it, especially if you're just newly tuning in and you just found out, whoa, you mean all this stuff that's going on? and I get the words twin flame, that's what this is all about? Yeah, that's what it's all about. But it's for you to become one flame. One flame. One. And you will find that it's called New Lives, New Timelines. Lots of practical stuff in there. Practical information on how do you get the love into the back of your heart chakra so you can breathe, feel calm, elevate, bring it in, bring it in and not have it squandered out there in the universe because you can feel it. People can feel their twin having sex with other people. F people are experiencing their twin's hangovers. 
This is, these are the things that make people feel like they're crazy. Ooh, wow, did I imagine that? No, you didn't, because you're one unit and you will, you're still, you're still coming together. This is an ongoing process. It is not stopping, and there's a momentum here, that an acceleration that has been created. So please have a wonderful day. Thank you so much, and take it easy out there. Be safe. All right? Bye now.